and know that the true prophets are their own successors after their passing away dying, always as new personalities, who are above you in knowledge and in wisdom with regard to the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, but nevertheless they are modest and do not place themselves at higher levels above you, so they put themselves on an equal footing with you and do not demand any privileges over you. Therefore they are a people of your kind human beings, in all respects in modesty and put themselves on an equal level with you. Chapter 7 This is the goblet of truth, which is the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life given through the laws and recommendations of the appearance nature, and the wellspring of love creation allow yourselves to be led guided by the teaching which is also the teaching of the prophets who teach you so that no trepidation may arise in your breast feelings, and so that you may be worn as an admonishment so that you do not do non-rightful things. Follow what has been given to you through the teaching of truth, and do not follow any other protector than the real truth how little you are mindful of this how little you think about it. Remember what has gone before the past. Because you have destroyed so many cities and killed murdered, the inhabitants out of revenge, hatred, jealousy and enmity when you fell upon them by day or in the night whilst they were sleeping and truly, you also do the same today because you have not freed yourselves from your non-right and those amongst you who have freed themselves from it. You have contempt for them and you accuse them of chicken-heartedness cowardice, when they protect their lives and people of their kind family members because you want them to be people of your kind people just like you, so that they join you in killing and destruction. However, if you are called to account for your outrage, murdering, and destruction, etc., then you yourselves fall prey to chicken-heartedness cowardice, and you wail yourselves and make supplications for undeserved mercy and false remorse, but then, if equitableness fairness catches up to you, Feign realization of your infamous actions crimes, and admit that you are malefactors lawbreakers, but because your remorse is only a game you will continue your outrageous lawbreaking activities, unless you are brought to fair commensurate punishment and sent to a place of fulfillment of guidelines secluded island or secluded place, for a certain period of time. Truly, all those who are outrageous breaking the law, will be brought to account, and if it is not through the law of condition cause, and decision effect equals cause and effect, of the wellspring of love creation, then it will be through the jurisdiction and its laws which you have conceived created, as people of your kind human beings. And the laws conceived created, by you will be implemented by your jurisdiction and authority because they are ever present and never absent when they have to condemn you and they also will enumerate your actions to you which you have committed with knowledge and thereby infringe the law, so you will be judged AC according to your actions and sent for punishment. And the weighing assessing of your actions will be conducted truly harshly by your jurisdiction or authority because everything will be put into the scales of equitableness fairness, and will amount to a great weight because nothing will be left out that you have done in non-right and infamous actions crimes. And truly, there are many amongst you who have your own scales for yourselves which drag you down under because of their weight, because your lovelessness and unfreedom bondage, in you as well as your dissonance disharmony, and your own unpeace as well as your chicken-heartedness cowardice weigh so heavily that you cannot free yourselves from them, because you constantly commit misdemeanors against the signs teaching evidence of the truth. A dwelling has been given to you on earth through the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of love creation, as has the land, so that you may build on it and thereby create the means for your welfare, but you defile your dwelling and the land because you are ungrateful and in your ungratefulness you are presumptuous and you assume believe that you may place yourselves next to the wellspring of love creation. You are created from the appearance nature of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of love creation and it is from the appearance nature that your form has also come forth, however also your freedom independence 
so that you are independent in your determinations decisions and in your power to act volition and you do not have to submit yourselves to the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation if you do not strive to do so but consider in this that even if you have your free determination decision and your free power to act volition you are nevertheless integrated into the activity of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of love creation therefore your actions bring forth certain decisions effects law of cause and effect and as you are not coerced to submit yourselves to the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of love creation therefore you can always act according to free determination decision and in free power to act volition so you shall not submit yourselves to people of your kind human beings either and not to baseless supposed made up gods and tin gods or liberators angels you shall always prevent yourselves from submitting yourselves because ample freedom has been given to you in all things and for your life and everything that is in it therefore it is beneath your dignity for you to submit yourselves whether it be submission to someone of your kind human being to a fabulated invented god tin god liberator angel venerable one holy one or to anything else consider that in your freedom independence you are always better than those who demand submission from you therefore you shall heed your freedom and keep it for always and do not believe in false prophets and false believers who bind themselves to gods and tin gods and believe that they have been created by the same from fire breath or from loam because everything is only lying and slander calumny because you have been created from the earth and its appearance nature through its cycle processes of unfolding evolution from which animated organic acids amino acids were created and from which the minutus creatures microorganisms and truly people of your kind human beings came about from that therefore do not be slimly subservient and assume believe that you have come forth from the fire breath of a god or tin god or through its might and kind heartedness from loam truly it is not appropriate to open your ears to this delusional teaching and if you do so nevertheless then you are making yourselves into a base ones who are bound to dependent on fabulated invented gods and tin gods allow yourselves only to see the truth to accept it and to live with it so that you do not need to demand deferment in order to understand the truth and truly if you follow the truth then you are not lost therefore you do not condemn yourselves either to having unfair ones irresponsible ones and non-righteous ones conscienceless ones lying in wait for you who certainly wish to lead you away from the straight path of the truth if you observe people of your kind fellow human beings who have done evil and unfair things irresponsible things to you then do not wish them evil and unfair things irresponsible things from all sides but forgive them even if you find the majority of them are not grateful for it and if people of your kind fellow human beings do evil and unfair things irresponsible things to you and are non-righteous conscienceless towards you then do not disdain them and do not push them away but do not do as they do so that you do not create a shadow world hell in yourselves that you fill with non-right with evil and with non-righteousness conscienceless you people of your kind human being man and woman dwell in a garden of peace and love of freedom and of consonance harmony which you create in yourselves and eat from all the good fruits thereof whenever and whenever you wish however do not create in yourselves a garden in which fruits of lovelessness of unpeace of dissonance disharmony of and freedom bondage grow as well as trees conditions of inequity and fairness